Assalamu alaikum and hello again. Now we will talk about 6.12 computers in libraries. You can find it in your book at page 122. It was perhaps inevitable that technology took a central role in libraries. In the past, libraries dealt primarily with physical books, as well as CDs and DVDs. When an item was borrowed, it was stamped with a return date, and a record was made of who borrowed the item. For many years, the only use of IT involved a book's barcode being scanned as it was borrowed. This saved a little time when compared to the borrower's records being noted down. More recently, the process of borrowing an item from some libraries has become completely automated. Before you visit a library, you might visit the library's website. You can then check availability and even find the shelf location of the item you want to borrow. When you arrive at the library, you can, if you wish, pick up your items and take them to be checked out by a human. Alternatively, you can use a machine. Your library card has either a barcode or a magnetic stripe, which can be scanned to access your account. This makes sure that anything you borrow is associated with your account, rather than someone else's. You can then scan each item that you want to borrow. They might have barcodes of their own, or they might use an RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification Tag. This communicates with the scanner using radio waves, in a similar way to contactless payment cards. Each item has an RFID chip that carries a unique number. The next time you access that machine at the library, it will show you a list of everything you've borrowed, along with their return dates. If an item is overdue, meaning you should have already returned it, this will be displayed as well. You might be able to reserve any items that are currently out on loan. For some libraries, you can also access these features online by logging onto your library account. The aim of information technology is normally to automate processes, rather than simply store information. A library system usually automates communication with library users. If you have reserved an item, and the person who borrowed it has returned it, you might receive an automated email or text message. Similarly, if you have an item that is overdue, or about to become overdue, you might receive a notification. Library systems keep records of all of their items, as well as everyone who is registered to borrow those items. It is the job of the library staff to maintain details of both. If a new member joins a library, they might register online, or they might have to see a librarian who enters their details onto the system. As new books and other items are bought, they need to be entered into the system as well as being given a unique barcode or RFID chip. If items are sold or lost, they need to be removed from the system. Now that e-books are becoming more popular, technology is becoming increasingly a part of everyone's library experience. The idea of a library being an organisation you can join, from which you can borrow books, has not changed. What has changed is how that process occurs. And now computers in libraries. As you see that many computers are in the libraries and the library system is now computer controlled they are using the barcode reader for the books and also for the library card of the borrowers the main files here are what the book file and borrower file which has barcode field here as a primary key and the borrower's ID here as a primary key. We have a relationship which is one to many between borrower ID and borrower's ID. It's here primary key and here it is a foreign key so it will be one to many as you know. Now as a computerized system first of all we have the two files are existing in the system then when the borrower takes out a book, the barcode is first is scanned as the book. The book details are then found in the book file and the system automatically calculates the due back as a date for giving back the book. Then the borrower's library card, contain, which contains the unique barcode for this card, is scanned also. The book file is linked to the borrower's file and both files are updated to indicate which book has been borrowed and when is the due back. Now the date of the book to be due back is saved in the borrower's file. 
The system therefore knows when to send out a reminder to the borrower of the book if the return date of the book is exceeded. So it is as a reminder. Now, on the daily basis, the borrower's file is integrated by the computer to see which books are overdue to return. The sequence of events is summarized below. Here are the steps and the sequence. You can find them. Now, some systems use magnetic stripe on the borrower's card rather than the barcode. It has the same files, the same work, but rather than to have the scanner for the barcode, we have the magnetic card reader rather than the scan. And some of the libraries are using RFID chips on their books. So we have to get some RFID reader rather than the magnetic card reader or barcode reader, the scanner.